media, an illusion of choice. Do you know that only six corporations own 90% of the American media? The most powerful special interest group in Washington is the media. The media is the gateway of information to the American public, and any politician strives to reach the public through the media. Thus, the media have a great say in which politician is granted a voice. To provide a historical perspective, in 1983, 90% of the American media was controlled by 50 companies. Through a history of mergers and acquisitions, these companies have concentrated their control over what we see, hear, and read. In many cases, these companies control everything, from initial production to final distribution. Now only six companies own 90% of our media. Our main source of information and cultural output is coming from these six giant conglomerates. Comcast, News Corp, Disney, Viacom, Time Warner, and CBS. Profit maximization is the ultimate goal of every corporation. And if that goal becomes entangled with reporting the truth in the news, what will ultimately win out? What happens when there is no one left to compete with? When one company owns everything in your town, does the people in your town have a voice in their media anymore? Would they hear or watch content that is relevant to their lives? Probably not. The more independent media outlets a community has, the more different viewpoints will be presented on air. And the question that arises, do we really have a choice in our media?